good to see you. Let's see what we have. All right.
Inquisitor. You happier with the champion off with the wardens? There were wardens in Kirkwall, too. No, it's better you not know. Yes, let it. It started out helping, taking the fear away. I won't take too much. I am not that. I found the amulet that Solus told us about. Would you like to try it on? Yes, but not here. I like it here. We need some place that can go away if it becomes sharp. What do I do with it? You found one of the amulets. Excellent. May I? It is simple enough. You put it on, I charge it with magic, and you should be protected. Are you ready, Cole? They can't make me a monster. Ah! What was that? Oh, for... What are you doing to the kid? Stopping blood mages from binding me like the demons at Adamant. But it didn't work. Something is interfering with the enchantment. Something like Cole not being a demon? Solus, is it possible that the amulet doesn't work on Cole because he's too... human? Regardless of Cole's special circumstances, he remains a spirit. Yes, a spirit who is strangely like a person. I don't matter. Just lock away the parts of me that someone else could not together to make me follow. Focus on the amulet. Tell me what you feel. Warm, soft blanket covering, but it catches tears. I'm the wrong shape. There's uh, something. There. That way. It appears we have something to find. Again? All right, kid. Get Cullen and work with him on the map to figure out where you're sensing something wrong. Will you come with me? All of you? Sure. All right, I get it. You like spirits. But he came into this world to be a person. Let him be one. If I see a way to protect Cole without taking away whatever he is, I'll use it. But Cole clearly needs our help. I'm not saying we do nothing. But that ritual of theirs only works on demons, right? This is not some fanciful story, child of the stone. We cannot change our nature by wishing. You don't think? However we deal with the problem, our next step is to track down whatever is interfering with the enchantment. Yeah, this should get me through the month. Now give me a moment. Greetings. 
Can I help you? You. You killed me. What? I don't... I don't even know you. You forgot. You locked me in the dungeon in the spire and you forgot and I died in the dark. The spire? Cole, stop. Just take it easy, kid. He killed me! He killed me! That's why it doesn't work! He killed me and I have to kill him back! If he killed you, wouldn't you be dead? Cole, this man cannot have killed you. You are a spirit. You have not even possessed a body. A broken body, bloody, banged on the stone cell, guts gripping in the dark, dank. A captured apostate. They threw him into the dungeon in the spire at Valroyo. They forgot about him. He starved to death. I came through to help. And I, I couldn't. So I became him. Cole. Cole was an apostate. That'd make the guy we just saw a Templar. Must have been buying lyrium. Let me kill him. I need to... I need to. Cole will never grow into a real person until he comes to terms with what happened. Leave it to me. All right, kid. You want revenge? Come with me. I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! Sorry isn't going to help him now, is it, kid? No. Pull the trigger and put him down like a mad dog. Do it! No! Just go away. I learned that the hard way. Forget. No. He needs to remember. You too. We're done here. For all we know, the amulet will now never function. Cole remains vulnerable to binding. No, he isn't. The amulet didn't work because he's too human, right? Maybe now the kid's also too human for that binding magic to work on him. I hope you're right. It still hurts. When do I stop hurting? Being with your friends can make you feel better. Come on, kid. Let's go for a walk. It'll clear your head. The left hand misses a friend with two different names. She's hurting, sad, alone. But everyone can see me now. They remember 
How do I put honey in Leliana's wine without her noticing? I can help with that. It is good that he is not entirely changed, however human he becomes. a sight for sore eyes. Greetings again, Inquisitor. Another time, then. Inquisitor, I... I have been thinking. You remember everything now, yes? The explosion at Haven, the Fade, escaping the breach. In your report, you said Justinia was with you. But only you emerged in the end. Why? Why were you the only survivor? She knew it was either her or me, and she wanted me to live. Of course. Of course she did. That's just like her. Her message to me. I failed you too. I'm not sure I understand what that means. Did she say anything else? Anything at all? Please, if you remember. Wait. You don't know what she meant either. There are no answers in the fate. Only illusions. A warped mirror. Justinia has never failed me. I was her left hand. Now she's dead. I failed her. A message from Divine Justinia. That's a shock. Are you all right reading it? Thank you for the concern, Inquisitor. But I am. This message was written months, perhaps even years ago, to be delivered to me if she died. I've heard of such contingency plans. A sudden death often leaves loose ends. I'm to go to Valence, a small village on the waking sea. There is something hidden there. I'll help in whatever way I can. Wonderful. I was hoping you would agree to come with me to Valence. One more thing. If what is hidden in Valence is as valuable as I think, we're not going to be the only ones looking for it. I shall meet you at the Chantry in Valence. Try not to delay. <laughs> 